This is the story of Jermaine Choo Choo Mackey in the weeks leading up to his super middleweight title shot against Bahamian champion Marvelous Marvin Smith. I'd met Choo Choo at a fitness class I was taking at the National Boxing Center. Boxing had become a bit of an obsession for me, and I thought it would be interesting to see how a challenger prepares for a title match. One of my biggest goals right now is to win the Super Middleweight Championship of the Bahamas. By doing that, um, it really will help lift my confidence, me as a boxer, to really see where I at, because it's just going to be a real challenge. From there, I want to go at winning the British Commonwealth titles, and if I could win that, from there I want to win a world title. Choo Choo is 25 years old and has a record of 4-0 and as a professional. He's had a very good amateur career, going 79-6 and and winning four gold medals at the Caribbean Championships, plus numerous other fights around the region, North America, and Europe. The first time I went to spa, um, uh, I spa with a fella, the fella beat me till I cry. So, I had to actually come with the ring and cast myself. So from then, I told myself, hey, if you want to do this, you got to be the best at it. To me, um, I always recognize him. Oh, the whole flock of boxers who joined at the time he did, which presented really the first uh, stock of boxers uh, that I started training. Choo Choo, uh, I regarded him as perhaps the better post boxer of the whole flock. Not because of his talent. It, to me, I always recognize his, his um, awkward style of southpaw. I think gave him the edge, and he created a lot of problems for a lot of fighters that way. His sparring regimen by Coach Ray Minus Jr. can only be called intense. He'll get in the ring and box with four separate fighters for about the equivalent of three three-minute rounds. This gives him the opportunity not only to develop endurance, but also to adapt to different situations and styles of fighter. Come on, Chuchu, keep your fight in the middle of the ring. Get back to that job. Step back, guys. Press, go. He fights with two other middleweights, a lightweight and a heavyweight. Come on, Chuchu, you can't be getting it. Come on. Stay busy in there, that's your job. Try to get what you can get out of it. Come on. His long reach will be his best weapon against Marvin. He'll try to keep the champion on the outside with his jab. Right back to the jab. Come on, right back. You wait on the mile too much. Come on, Chuchu. Oh, yeah, Chris. Right back, Chris. Come on, Chuchu. Nothing is held back in these sparring sessions. When he's not training, Choo Choo works as a professional carpenter. So me, as a carpenter, um, I really love it. It's really exciting for me. And, you know, um, we've been, I've been working on plenty of projects over at Atlantis and Ben Exuma, working on the hotel. So help building up the country and dealing with uh, local jobs. Helping out the and people, it's really exciting for me. Today's his last day at work until after the fight. This morning I was to film Choo Choo as he ran to the gym from his house. I drive on his route, but I don't see him. When I get to the gym, he's already there. Last night, Choo Choo and his girlfriend of the past five years split up, and he's moved out of the house he shared with her and their two young children. I know this must weigh heavily on him, but he has to continue with his training schedule.
I'm not going to toe to toe with him. I'm going to throw blows. I'm going to move because hey, he have the experience. He is the champ, so I got to give him that respect. Today also has the first round of many media stops to promote the fight. Polish up my belt because hey, it ain't no guarantee you leaving out that ring walk in because they gang in there like a choke. If I got to choke three million blows at you just to make one count, three million come in. I'm going to take it, but I'm going to pass him up and knock a couple of MT and stuff like that. So I tell him ready, well, shine at my belt, because hey, the title is gone. He's coming out on the stretcher. Pichu has improved uh, tremendously. He's in excellent shape for this fight. He's hungry. You know, I don't think um, anything can go wrong once he remains focused on this time. It's two season, just like Trump and Kinep. It's two season, so I'm going to fight my heart out. Hey, I just got in there to destroy him. I'm going to need two ambulances. Because he could be in two. Bring all the smell and salt and stuff like that. Bring your respirator. You might have to jump starting. Because when I finish with him, only God get out of him. The first time I met Marvin Smith was he came to the gym and he wanted to spar. So I, I spar with him, but. Um, me being an amateur boxer and him being a professional boxer, he really thought he could uh, take advantage of me. And he threw a couple big shots at me. I took him and I ran a couple on him. And that was the end of that. But from then I look at him and I remember that and I was like, hey, I'm going to get you back. Saturday isn't a full day of training, but it's still an extremely grueling workout at Fort Charlotte. After running around the track for 12 laps, it's time to tackle the hill. Later on that day, Ray has a boxing show with the kids in his amateur club. Currently in his amateur program, he has over 100 boys enrolled. He goes and picks up a lot of these kids in his truck and takes them home after. He and his wife Michelle run a very disciplined gym. Any infractions from bad behavior to having your shirt not tucked in has the same punishment. Push-ups. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 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 First off, I didn't like him. I was mad at him because it used to be a bunch of us on an S10 truck, uh, man. And uh, I did a million push-ups because if he was making noise, he'd pull over on the side anywhere and you got to do your push-ups and stuff like that. But then I, regrow I grew to respect him because he taught me a lot of things. He taught me no matter where you come from, you still could be something in life. Now, do me proud today, all your boys. Give yourself a round of applause and say we can win. All right, that's what I like to hear. Ray Minus Jr. was one of the Bahamas' most prolific fighters at 63, 6, and 1. He was the bantamweight Commonwealth champion twice and fought two times for world titles. My job is to promote the sport of boxing here in the Bahamas, uh, to build, train, and so I find myself doing every single thing. And it's what I love to do. I don't think I can 
um, live uh, without boxing. I always want boxing to be in the mix, be up there in the forefront, recognized as one of the elite sports in the country. <laughs> I feel if, if I didn't come to boxing, I would have been one of those guys there smoking because there really isn't nothing else to do, or being drinking, or hanging on in this club or in this bar. So it really made me say, well, okay, boom, if you want to be the best that you can be, and stuff like that, he really teach me that because he said, well, hey, this way you could go, this what you could do in life. You don't have to choose the wrong route, or you just don't have to sit down and hang on the blocks. There is nothing there for you. If you want this in life, you want the best in life, you gotta fight for it. And he's really uh, showed me that. Sunday morning, we're up again before 6 a.m., preparing for a run of about five miles. I'm doing a lot of running, right, hills. I've been running a bridge uh, long distance and stuff like that because I've never been 12 rounds before. So that's, I'm really venturing in the deep waters. So all of that, I would hope that that would make up for me not doing, not ever going 12 rounds. Choo Choo was a star distance runner in high school, so a run like this only keeps his body tuned up. After arriving at the beach, Ray and Chuchu meet up with a former boxer from the amateur program. He's quickly put to work by Ray. Go! Go! Sometimes boxers go beyond. Some of the things a boxer would do. Uh, to knock off that extra five, six pounds in the space of two hours <laughs> or an hour and, and getting it done. Um, and it's a strenuous work. Uh, I see in boxes too. Um, I'm telling you, uh, boxing has to be uh, probably in a league, in the conditioning level, has to be in a league of its own. Ray and Chuchu are finishing their first round of media stops. While at the Nassau Guardian, they discuss the best way to build the ring. A difference between a half an inch to three quarters to four inches is a big difference. The and only, nevertheless, listen, the only, uh, you see what I have to The only, go do some coke connection. He's going to bring his best to the table, but, but whatever his best is, it's not going to be good enough for him that night because it's choo choo season. But that night it's going to be all choo choo. He just, he just going for the ride. He's just a passenger on the bus. I'm driving. Today is also the first time that I'll meet with marvelous Marvin Smith at his gym. Marvin is a journeyman type of fighter with a professional record of 14, 5, and 1 with 12 knockouts. He's 34 years old and has held the title for a while because of the lack of Bahamian challengers in his weight class. A lot of his fights have been outside the Bahamas. He trains intently and seems to be very focused. Marvin Smith is a gritty fellow. He's, he's a fellow who is not that talented a boxer, but 
He is a fellow who is prepared to stick in there and, and create it out. What's your prediction for the fight? The guy said before he wouldn't have 10 belts. He won't last 10 rounds. He wouldn't have 10 belts. Because boxing itself is a dangerous game on the whole. Mm -hmm. So I'm giving credit for wanting to fight me as, as he came so badly. But he'll know what he's, he's getting pushed into. He'll know. He really doesn't have much talent, but he could take a punch and he could hang in there and he could really tough it out for, he really has his mind make up for whatever he wants. So Marvin looks pretty good in there. Oh, very good, very good. He's, he's going to be ready. Yeah. Choo choo Marky boy, it's your time to die. Marky ain't got a chance, unless he brings his whole entire family. <laughs> Him one, he's got a chance. Five oh. rounds. Mm -hmm. Get your popcorn early. This one's going to be quick. Today, Choo Choo's son, Jermaine Jr., accompanies him to the gym. He really likes boxing. Sometimes when I come from the gym, he carrying my bag. He want to take out my boxing stuff. He want to box. So my little girl, I had to stop him a couple of times from Throw him punches with her, let him know, no, no, no. But when it comes down to boxing, he really loves it, and you know, it's just an adventure for him. Training Choo Choo is a family affair for the Minuses. Ray's father, Ray Minus Sr., a former boxer himself, will be in Choo Choo's corner on fight night. One of my weaknesses would be that uh, sometimes um, I launch, I get lazy in the ring and stuff like that and um, really getting over fear because if I find somebody and they throw in some big punches, I'd be like, hold on, you ain't one of them. So I tend to run and um, fall back in my game. If he impressively wins this fight, it will do a lot for his confidence because his boxing ability is already up there. He's very good. But he needs to know that he is good by executing. I know he's going to come at my body, so my sit-ups, my push-ups, I'm doing all of that. But I'm dealing with taking body shots and learning how to cope with it. What better way to get used to big punches than to call in a new sparring partner? Ray's brother, heavyweight champion of the Bahamas, Ronaldo Minas. You got to be ready, Chuchu. You got to be ready. Control your body. This year is the gym now. We trying to pace ourselves. We trying to push ourselves to the limit. Let's go. You wait too long. Bang bang, move, bang bang. Big as he is, the smallest as you can. Find a way. Beautiful attitude, 
Ah, girl, kick my butt. Come on, push it off. Beautiful. It's less than a week before the fight now, and Choo Choo has his regular Saturday morning run as Ray puts up posters to promote the fight. Then you can frustrate a, place, a boxer, a person. Uh, anything they try, and they still get hit. That really, that really take a toll on you. No matter what you do, He's still trying. I look good there. <laughs> As a young boy growing up in Camp Road, uh, people used to pass with their fancy cars. So used to say, well, this is my car, that's my car. So I always told myself I wanted to travel and see the world, but I didn't know how I was going to do it. Through there, I get to travel all around the world. Being to Venezuela, Mexico, Puerto Rico. When we went to England, and I. The people was like, you speak English very well. So I told them I'm from the Bahamas. So they was like, hey, I want to go there one day. So I was like, that made me feel like a king. I was like, hey, people dream about going to the Bahamas and stuff like that. Despite his international success, the Bahamas Boxing Federation didn't select Choo Choo for the Olympic boxing trials, even though he was the top fighter in his weight class. I could never understand those people in the Boxing Federation select a team and leave out the two best, most renowned boxers, Javain Marquis and Jerry Butler. Yeah, he's cool, like he is, you know, he just stay cool. He, like, get it. He, eventually, when I brought in the press and make a big stink of it in the media, they eventually select him. But then they cut off to what other fellas who deserve it to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a different way class, my dude. Yeah, you know? So you just say, I ain't come here to try to stop nobody from going. Right. I'd rather not go. I think he, that, that in the back is, is, is mine. That I got to show. Show them they were wrong not to select him in the first place. Mm -hmm. and, and the thing they've been doing that, uh, you know, that could always prevail. You know? I know we like to see uh, that we conquer uh, the opposition. <laughs> we must do it. <laughs> Marvin's been through all the wars. All the wars. Nobody, Marvin hasn't seen what's going to happen in this one, Choo Choo. Choo Choo and Marvin are both appearing on a Love 97 talk show tonight to promote the fight that is only three days away. Put something on him. I'm telling you. When this fight started, he called me a boy. He didn't respect me. He thought, hey, He's this is boy. just a run over and stuff boy. like that. Mm. So now. He seen me going to the press and telling him what I could do to him. I could bust still, up your eyes, still a boy. I knock out your teeth. Yeah. Look ya, you better kiss mommy Wait. and kiss daddy or Wait, bring them you, there. You know, you know, I gotta go. Yeah, folks, this one's getting hot. Yeah. Yeah. This one's getting hot. Come on now, Marvin. Come on, Marvin. You don't scare me. I'm telling you. You don't scare me. I'm telling you. 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 I'm but as a competitor, I will destroy you. Old friend, no punks, man. Oh Jesus. boy. What is happening here is, 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 is as old as time itself. With yeah. The little boy mm -hmm. who wants to be king. Mm -hmm. Probably someday he mm -hmm. will be king. Not now. But not now. No. Not What's going to happen, Marvin, not, when you step in there? Honestly, when I finish with it, I have to solidify my legacy, mm -hmm. all right, to go down among the middleweight greats of this country, right. all right? And, it's and a big when one. I get through with this boy, yeah. there's no sensible behavior mother in this country to allow the child to go in the ring with this animal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Boy, look at this one's Trust getting hot. So if you think I some flower pop conflict fella, watch on the 20th. You will see what time it is. Most say anything, money by land. Why do you think he wasn't taking you seriously before? Because he's calling me a boy. He was saying that, hey man, this a boy, this and that. So now 
The strain they had had is coming from practice. Uh, we had a talk show earlier when he been I looked at him, he was exhausted. Um, I told him I'm gonna cut him up like a cake and stuff like that. He got up, he got scared, he started pointing finger, you know? So all of that, all the reaction, really, I saw that he was scared. He says, you've been doing all the talking. He says, he's gonna show you something. He's gonna teach you what experience is like in the ring against a young talker. Marvin, I can bust you up. I can, look, I can knock the juice out your mouth. The mouthpiece, the referee got to be picking it up a couple of times. How do you keep going in a while? You have to keep going so. Take a chair, she's done with you. <laughs> but you can't, you can't find chicken foot nowhere. <laughs> chicken foot. You can't find chicken foot because you had to score out the chicken foot, scrape it, and we used to get it from by the farm. We stop in to visit Gus Cartwright, the proprietor of Checkers Cafe. He's been supporting Choo Choo through his amateur career and continues to help him now that he's a professional fighter. We got enough bad news than it is. We need no more, we need no more bad news, all right? He was just looking at me as a little play play thing, so now he's really taking it much more serious now to see, but hey, I get a fight ahead of me, this fella ain't playing. They want him to get my, they want him to come in there and come at me for for so when I read this spell, they wouldn't say Marvin was it wasn't at his hundred percent. He wasn't prepared. He didn't take you serious and stuff like that. They want him to come out a hundred percent. He's there to do a job, I'm here to do my job and my job is to take that belt away from him because it's my time. I can't sit around and wait for him to give it up. This evening is the weigh-in and medical check. This is a time for those involved in Bahamian boxing to talk about old times and to flex muscles they haven't flexed in a while. Choo Choo hadn't told anyone, but he's had the flu for the past few days. The doctor notices immediately because of his heart rate. He also hasn't eaten today to maintain weight. Fight the challenger, to me, Choo Choo Maki. Step up. Juju, what's the paper say your record is? Uh, I don't know. These people must be working for the government. They get me as four, uh, four and six. But I mean, my heart, man. And people say that they can be like Juju, you liar. You know, the news, the newspaper is gospel in the Bahamas. Yeah. The newspaper say something. That's that. Oh Lord, I mean, people might call me a liar after this comes. Choo Choo is planned to help with the coordinating of the ring building and then sleep for the rest of the day. Being the carpenter, he can't sit idly by while others build. If Marvin beat you, Choo Choo, don't even look at me for me. Don't even look at me. You can't beat no minus boy if Marvin beat you. If Marvin beat you, you me. Marvin beat you, you dead. Marvin,
He's also decided to get his hair cut so he'll look good for his fight. If, if this gap up, this the fellow went through the gap it up, this man. Now Choo Choo has always spelled his name C-H-U-C-H-U. However, the poster has it spelled C-H-O-O. This apparently has caused mass confusion with the entire barbershop because he wants his name displayed in his new haircut. Okay, you can cut it down, right? Cut it down. Let's put the CHU in it. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's simple. Okay. I've been here for a long time. For me, before I started out in uh, Armour Chores. Yeah. And I get my money on him. But like, don't go behind Marvin. No, when I'm bothering too much, don't run behind him. So see, when you run down here, you can reach out here. Yeah. Okay, Marvin's like, fell us over. Yeah, I can't fight my friend. I can't fight you. Right. Don't let Marvin come on you too much of Marvin goes straight for the knockout. Let Marvin come on you, watch how he's fight. He comes for the knockout, and that's when he's going hard. And after this endurance on wheel, that's when he's going to be here. Okay, you think you can knock him out? Yeah, man, I ain't got no knockout. I just hang out in the box. I got to fight by fight now. After all that discussion about the proper way to spell Choo Choo, you'd figure his new robe would be perfect. Uh oh. Hey, Kishel! What's that name? See the name just then? In the street, so. Yeah, you got the blame. I see you all want. If you're going to do something right, you got to do it like, how do you do it, brother? Like this, right? Choo Choo is considered a member of the Minus family at his coach's house. Then you cut it up for the spaghetti. This is fucking high, but Marvus do it. Right? When you first said that, I do a chill spaghetti, but you can't. Your last name is Maki, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best Rocky, though. This is the only one in Rocky, so some form of boxing. He hasn't rested today at all. He arrived at the venue after hauling equipment for the DJs at the fight. Ghetto party? What? Choo choo? Kill it. Okay, you all try to work as a team now, all right? I don't need you all to be. Right, all this is one team, so let's move away weekly. I'm beginning to wonder at this point how building the ring and lifting DJ equipment may affect his performance. You've been distracted all day. Uh, it helped me, help me relax anyway, instead of just keep on thinking about the fight. Real quick, go on. Yeah, Oh, here, right. That's who I jumped up here. Ben Jeremy. I come in here to pee. Well, I ain't doing nothing. No, 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 that's almost like you said, that tightened me up. Let's rub the halo on, that's all. Right now, I'm just picturing the fight in my mind. I'm going to play sharp and flat. Jermaine Mackey, who has stood into the fray, he's into the fray to fight for the Super Middleweight Championship of the Bahamas. 
and I know Marvin is smarting inside because there are a lot of people, there are a number of people who really believe that the young fighter, Jermaine Mackey, will beat him. comes Marvin Smith to the ring now. Here he comes. Our current middleweight champion. We have the old guy against the young up-and-coming fighter. One with a good deal of experience and one with hardly any experience at all. He's waited a long, long time, time. A very long time. Glad and I it. know he's eager to go. It's been some four years since he's fought in front of the Bahamian people. His people. The bell for round one. Maki shoots out a jab. Shoots out another jab. Shoots out another jab. Choo Choo goes according to plan, keeping Marvin away with a stiff jab. Marvin is looking to end things early. After Choo Choo comes out of the early barrage unharmed, Ray tells him to start to work Marvin's body in the second round. Mackie Mac is uh, attempting to dominate this fight now, and he's taking the fight to Smith, and he's looking extremely impressive. I think Smith has got to do something quite extraordinary to actually un unruffle this young man. He's opening Marvin Smith and finding his shots. Uh, Smith seems to have no answer at this stage at all. I think that Mackey has what it takes to keep him on the end of that jab all night if he wants to. This is a big round for Jermaine Mackey. Smith looks to be in trouble. Smith is in trouble. Smith covered up those punches though. They didn't quite land very flush. We covered up. But he received a vicious left hook. A vicious left hook and a right uppercut. Maki is coming on strong again. He throws a punch and Maki hits him with about four or five. Midway through the fight, Marvin's mouthpiece starts mysteriously ending up on the canvas every time Choo Choo Smith gains Smith some momentum. With Smith's mouthpiece. This is the second time that it flew out of his mouth. He's lost his gum shield again. Smith scores with a right to the head, but Maki just moved back. And there was the bell. There was the bell. Oh, what an exchange. again. 
I think uh, Mackey has good reason for complaint here because that uh, gum shield has been on the canvas so many times now. At um, least four times. At least four times. <laughs> Mackey lands the right jab and then counters for the left hook to the head. Mackey is just a smoother, faster uh -huh. fighter. Yeah. It's his mouthpiece is out again. What is happening? This is the fifth time that Marvin Smith, the champion, has lost his mouthpiece. The referee has had enough of it. Taking a point away. The referee is taking a point away from the champion, Marvin Smith. Marvelous. Marvin. At this point, it seems the only way Smith can win the fight is by a knockout. Uh, he's really got to come out and get lucky with the, the single punch. I think and he almost got it. Smith. Again. Oh, oh, oh what a punch! Right the In round nine, Marvin landed the punch he was waiting for. However, seconds later, Choo Choo lands a vicious left hook to Marvin's head that buckles the champ's knees. The really significant thing about that round was that Mackey really proved himself as a fighter. To take a punch of that quality in the then, ninth and round, and then come straight back into the fight and, and uh, resume command of the fight shows real character and uh, real quality as a fighter. They are in the center of the ring fighting now and trading blows. Trading blows. Ten rounds. Yes, it's well, great. That's one. about a third left hook he's thrown. A solid left to the head. Smith that's a, left, he, left. Where, where has he been hiding it all night? Where has he been hiding it? Marvin shows a lot of heart in round 10 and the kind of determination that it took to make him a champion. In round 11, Choo Choo re-establishes his authority with a series of combinations. A looping right hook by Jermaine Mackey scores flush on the jaw. Jermaine Mackey is going to work now. Marvin Smith looks to just be waiting again for one polarizing punch. Head. Jermaine Mackey has taken full control of the fight again. A series of combinations to the body, to the head. This was Choo Choo's night. It was as if he had the fight all figured out in his mind before he even got in the ring. Marvin fought like a champion even though he was clearly outclassed. 
The fact that he stayed on his feet for 12 rounds says his courage can never be questioned. Sugar Ray Leonard once said about boxing, It is wonderful. It truly is. It is the only thing that is real. It's you against me. It's challenging another guy's manhood with gloves. Words cannot describe that feeling of being a man, of being a gladiator, of being a warrior. It's irreplaceable. Maybe winning the super middleweight title of the Bahamas isn't going to shake the foundations of professional boxing. After all, this rock in the Atlantic Ocean that we live on isn't exactly known for producing world champions. But don't tell Jermaine Mackey this didn't matter. He had a goal. I spent three weeks watching this man train, sacrifice, and punish himself for this goal. And like all great athletes do, he made it look easy. Ex-heavyweight champion George Foreman has said, Boxing is the sport to which all other sports aspire. It is the quintessential image of human struggle, masculine or otherwise, against not only other people, but one's own divided self.